Prodigal Steve returns to the Darkest Dungeon. How's it going, everybody? Uh, last episode was a disaster. We uh, we lost our Houndmaster and also our Hellion in an attempt to defeat the Apprentice Necromancer after we got uh, wrecked by a Collector fairly early in the mission. So... I don't know, maybe we, maybe we try it again? I mean, we could field. Hmm. We would have to bring them to the, to the guild, unlock some skills. <sighs> oh, you know what we should do before anything though? Let's uh let's check our stagecoach. Another there are a couple of plague doctors and another highwayman. Don't really need any of those. <sighs> Alright, let's see if we can't upgrade our blacksmith yes a sharper sword or to be a little short on this anything to prolong a soldier's life but we could start upgrading uh, people's weaponry so that's exciting all right let's look at what missions we have available we could go to the cove for the first time. Minus 20% chance party surprised, minus one speed. That's pretty good. Grave robber we don't have. Hmm. You know what? After last week, um, maybe we do just want to do a short mission here. Get a get this archer's ring which would be really good for our arbalist or a highwayman honestly um yeah just maybe maybe take it easy this week you can go ahead and uh maybe use the usual suspects dismas here in the second spot Hmm. You can work just fine in the third slot. Yeah. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll also bring a, a leper out. Yeah, this is fine. And then we can uh, bring our other Vestal. Okay. Um, couple of shovels. You know what, we'll bring two keys? No, maybe just one. Bring ten food, just in case. Then, like ten torches? Maybe just, yeah, eight torches should be fine. This is a short mission. Um, we don't have anybody who can cure bleed. So bring a couple of bandages, and then that should be sufficient. Yeah, so this is probably going to be a little bit shorter episode than last time, if I had to hazard a guess. You know, between the collector fight and the uh, failed, must be driven back. And what better place to begin? The uh, failed the apprentice necromancer fight. No it uh, it dragged on a little bit, but that's okay. I would uh, I would like these episodes to start being a little longer anyway. All right, packs already been looted. Oh, we do get a free torch here off the bat, so that's fine. A fortune. Uh, what is this? Hundred percent of room battles? I'm not super concerned. Okay, just a couple. Ooh, this isn't the worst that we could be in. 
Except for these guys can't do like anything from back there. And open vein isn't gonna be nearly as effective. Another abomination. Oh never mind. Uh, from our lands. Okay, well. I can always hope. The dodge is nice, so Yeah, you can <laughs> Okay. You know what? Never mind. Ooh, you do suffer stress from doing that, though. So maybe we'll just switch you two back and forth and Execute shuffle the party back now that we're done. Oh, 1,100 gold for that? Yes, please. All right, so you go back to spot three. You go all the way to the back. No, okay, hang on. There we go. There we go. All right. Don't know what that does. 100% of room battles. Altar of Light. You know what? Hey. Ah, we got a buff. Plus 30% damage until camp. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, well, we learned something today. Uh, this isn't so bad. This guy is kind of a pain because he does inflict a lot of bleed. And I would like to get rid of this Fusilier just from blanket fire. The, yeah, that's real good. So, solve that problem. Like in the bleed resist. Oh, you can... You can only heal back here, because I didn't bother to check your skills. That's on me. I feel like it's going to be a little misplays like that, uh, that are just going to stack up, and they're going to be what hurts me the most. One point of damage for two rounds, not super concerned about that. Let's just uh, smite this dude. Seven damage, not insignificant. Let's see, do we want hew? I think we just want chop here. The 11 damage is real good. Happy with that. Uh, yeah, we can pistol shot this guy in the back. That's fine. Could have liked a little bit more damage than that, but, you know, a third of his HP is uh, acceptable. Go ahead and throw out a heal on our uh, Crusader, since he is bleeding. Keep his HP up as high as we can get it. And I forgot to equip trinkets again. One of these days, man, I will... I'll remember that day is not today, but one day. All right, seven damage is good. Heal our leper. These guys are basically going to be worthless against him. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to smite this corpse. He is uh, not useless against us, though. There we go. Get rid of that. Bring you to the front. Then we can uh, open your veins. Continually onslaught. Ah. Them all. Uh, yeah. So that seems real good. Plus 15% uh, melee skills. I'm not using any healing skills on him anyway. So. Oh, and we get some free scouting. Okay, so we don't have to go to that room which means all the rest of our room battles are going to be this way, which is fine. We get a little bit closer. Hmm. All right, so that appeared to do nothing. That's fine. Better than getting a, a negative quirk. I do like the surprise. That's good. Go ahead and... Pistol shot this dude. I uh, would have liked that 10 damage, but you know. Let's see. How is Hugh? Hugh might kill both of them. And it did. Beautiful. Alright, that's fine. Throw out a Divine Grace on our Crusader. Then smite, and we're done. Boom. See, this is going much better than the, uh, the last one did. What do we have as our Curio here? Pack? That's fine. 
uh, medicinal herbs and some gold. For a task well performed. All right. Uh, scouting? No scouting. That's okay. Probably should have lit a torch before we went in there, but you know. I should actually probably stop bringing so many torches on uh, short measure. missions like this. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay. Uh, that was fine. Alright, pretty standard battle here. We did get the surprise. I uh, want to focus down on these two guys in the back, then worry about these two later. So go ahead and pistol shot this guy, I guess, because he has the lowest HP, or we'll just straight up miss. That's that's fine too. Yeah, try and get the kill there, and we get exactly enough damage to get it done. Then we'll go ahead and chop this guy in the front. Seven damage. That's not quite half his HP. Really should have checked her skills before uh, before we came out here. So ideal next round, get rid of this guy, maybe with our Crusader, then hew the two corpses in the front. Sort this dude out. Oh, the dodges! Are you kidding me? Do you have, like, an accuracy decrease? No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, you got a plus zero. Let's go ahead and smite you. One point off. That's okay. We can still use our hue. Maybe clear this corpse. Bring these guys up to the front. That way we can start doing work on this arbalist since uh, Dismas just decided not to show up for work today. There we go. Took a few turns, but uh, he got it done. Heal our Crusader. Then we should be able to one two punch this guy. Yeah. Provided we don't miss uh, Dunyan Rings. Alrighty, I like it. We're just getting keys for days. Okay. Uh, we have plenty of torches and only one room left, maybe? Uh, two. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and uh, Darkness snuff in. our torch. The hearts of men. Go ahead and uh, drive a key in here. Tax yeah, that's good. With loot are often low on supplies. There we go. Burn our torches again. Head out here, and we get one back. Perfect. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. All right, and this one's not so bad either. Go ahead and start out with. pistol shot against this guy, I guess. Eight damage. It's respectable. Please don't. Thank you. Alright. This is much easier than uh, last episode. Just had to alt-tab and make sure I was recording there for a second. Do we want to do... Hmm. Yeah, I think we just focus in on the chop. Get the kill. Leper, too good, man. Beautiful. Okay. Can we finish it off here? We can. Alright. Not worried about this room at all, because we know it's empty. Or is it merely... Trick of the light. Get scouting. We know this is going to be a room battle. And we, we know we have a trap coming up, so we'll select Dismas here. Disarm it. Get some stress relief. Not super concerned about that. I think we need holy water, maybe. 
I did expect there to be a, a second bout of hunger. Yeah, go ahead and burn a couple of torches. Hopefully surprise the uh, combatants here in this room. This isn't even a bad battle. Like that, that last episode, just the collector showing up and then honestly, I pushed a little too hard against uh, the necromancer. We were, we were in a bad place and I really should have just abandoned the mission. So we lost two, uh, two unique characters for no reason other than my own hubris, which uh, was promised, you know. I largely expected to make mistakes like that out of overconfidence. Uh, it is a slow and insidious killer. I should know better, but this mission went a lot better. You know, we're almost done here. Oh, dodging the stress, that's good. Pistol shot should finish this dude off, unless he dodges. Throw out a heal. Knight's crit. Some stress relief. Uh, you can zealously accuse these corpses. And then you can hew them. And sort that out. Can you, oh, you could probably use your bayonet jab from the front there. Please don't bleed me. I don't even know if they can inflict bleed. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, we'll open vein here. Dismas, what are you doing, man? You gotta be kidding me, right? Alright, leper in for the clutch. They're the swiftest skeletons I've ever seen in my entire life. They're untouchable. They they cannot be killed. Alright, there we go. I stand corrected, thankfully. Not the only one who can dodge. And scene. Beautiful. Okay, uh, that went infinitely better than uh, the last mission did. So we'll do some uh, some Hamlet stuff here. We did get our, our Archer's Ring. Right. You can skip that. Uh, what quirk did you get? Yes, Resolve Level Up. I understand this. Ooh, minus 5% damage to melee skills. I don't use... Open vein a lot, but I do like it because you know it inflicts bleed. The degeneracy of the Hamlet is nothing, I fear, when right. compared to the condition of surrounding acres. So we have some pretty bad stress on these two still. Right, let's get you guys out of there. I might just. Go ahead and commit you again. You can uh, you can pray this week. Then you can come to the tavern and uh, drink, I guess. All right, sort by level. Check our stagecoach. All right. Uh, I want all of these. I want our. Ooh, minus one speed? That's real bad. But they basically have the exact skills. Oh no. We uh we had these two instead. That's okay though. Um So let's go ahead and upgrade our stagecoach. Oh we need four more What's this? Deeds? Alright. I want... There we go. I can trade six busts for four deeds. So that I can get Antiquarian, another Arbalist, and a new Hellion. Of the damned. Okay, that can get closed. And I think first and foremost... What I'm going to do is head to the sanitarium, take our Hellion in here.
Hmm. Prob What's it going to take to get a... Okay, that's fine. Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm right. even the I most. I want to get rid of that. So. Twelve hundred. That's acceptable. Because we're probably not going to take our hellion out next time anyway. I don't know where we are going to go. That'll likely depend on these trinkets that I keep forgetting to equip. Jester only. No, well, we don't have a jester, so I'm not. Super concerned with either of those. A cultist. Hmm. That might be good. That might also be good. <sighs> yeah, there's no way we're going here. Um honestly, we'll uh we'll sort that out when we get to it. So, I think I'm going to call it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. Uh, any feedback is always appreciated. Leave me a, a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you next time.